Alicia here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how I quickly take my hair from dry and matted to moisturized and defined. I'm beginning this process with my hair being extremely dry and extremely matted. I'm starting by saturating my hair with water to get rid of any excess product buildup, including any old leave-in conditioners, oils, and gels. Saturating my hair with water is a quick way to add moisture back into my hair and it also allows me to begin the detangling process. Here is how my hair looks after saturating it with water. I'm going to be shampooing my hair with the Kinky Curly Come Clean Shampoo. This shampoo is made of a blend of organic plant and fruit extracts that work together to moisturize your hair as well as clarify your scalp. Whenever I wash my hair, I just shampoo my hair twice, so I'm going with my shampoo comb so that I can really focus on my scalp to get rid of any excess product buildup that I may have on my scalp and also at the roots of my hair. Condition and detangle my hair, I'll be using the Kiki Curly Knot today. This can be used as both a leave conditioner as well as a rinse out conditioner. This is made with a blend of botanical extracts that can smooth your cuticles as well as remove any knots from your hair. And as I mentioned earlier, this product can be used as both a leave in conditioner as well as a rinse out conditioner, but I'll be leaving it in so I will not be rinsing out this product. I'm dividing my hair into four sections and then getting my denim brush so that I can detangle each section separately. I'm basically combing through each section with my brush and then twisting that section out of the way. After each section is detangled, I clip my hair up to start the styling process. I'll be styling my hair with the Kinky Curly Curling Custer, which is one of my favorite products. This product is made with botanical ingredients that work together to maintain your hair's moisture as well as reduce breakage, which results in longer, healthier hair. I'm going in each section by adding the curling custard to that section of hair and then I divide that section into smaller sections and break the product through my hair. This is how my hair looks without the curling custard versus with the curling custard. With each section of my hair, I'll repeat the same steps. So first, I'll add some kinky curly curling custard to that section. Then I'll divide that section into smaller sections and add a bit more kinky curly curling custard. Break that through and also detangle as I break the product through my hair.
I still don't know how to do my edges, so I'm basically adding some curling custard and slicking them back. This is how my hair looks when it's still wet before the shrinkage sets in. My hair has come so far in the past few years since my last big chop. These are the final results after my hair has dried. I really enjoy using this combination of the Kinky Curly Come Clean Shampoo, the Kinky Curly Not Today Leave-In Conditioner, and the Kinky Curly Curly Custard. Whenever I use these products, I don't get any flakes, and my hair lasts quite a while, and it stays moisturized for a few days up to a week. But thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!